Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines. Today we are going to do something special. We're going to redesign the entire idea of this city. Fortunately enough, I can still keep the heart of the city in place. But what we're going to do is we're not going to connect any of these highways to our districts. The only way to get into my city as of this point are going to be trains. In the previous episode, I just figured this is the only way I can get rid of these freaking cars. This is just unbearable and we're never going to make it to 1 million if we don't take measures. So that's exactly what we're going to do. The first thing we need to do is delete everything and someone actually let me know that the move it mod has this functionality that you can just select everything. The bad thing about this is you're also getting rid of the trees. Uh, can I bulldoze that? Yeah, there we go. Holy schmoly. Well, okay. That might have been a little bit radical. <laughs> yeah, so far this is working out pretty niftily. Bulldoze. See ya. Oh, yeah, everyone is unhappy. <laughs> and there we go. All gone. Naturally, we have a whole bunch of uh, boss lines we want to get rid of. So let's align this and click, 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 click. All right, everything is removed and prepared. What we need to do is get all of the cars into a hub and actually physically force them to use the train to get somewhere. So that should be easy enough. What type of a street is this? Six lane with trees. Okay, let's just uh, continue this for a little bit. I think I'm just going to go up to here and then let's see what we have in terms of train hubs. We have multiple platform train station and this is the same uh, both have 12 platforms what is the difference maybe how they are aligned so this one is like that and this one ah okay so that is nice so since this is a hop we could go with a train station like this now let me see this is basically just the incoming hub for all of the trains that uh, come from outside of the map. So theoretically, that's just four lanes, right? And we have 12 here. Or we could take four lanes for incoming trains and then we have the other lanes in order to get trains out into different hubs. That could also be an idea. I'm just going to place this here for the time being. Now, let me see. I want to do this in a reasonable manner. Yeah, I don't think this is reasonable. What I want to do is something a little bit nicer. Now that we're going for trains, we can actually focus more on the designing part. I think I'm actually going to go with something like that. So that is going to be a one-way street where we can have a hub probably and then we could have a second hub down below. I mean, the city is going to be very, very big eventually. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Maybe let's do this for the three corners here and then we shall see what we can do. We might actually want to put the hub for all the cargo on the other side. So if they come, ah, they will actually have to go through here as well. So this could be a problem. No, actually, it shouldn't be a problem because people don't need to go from the left to the right or vice versa. They only need to decide once and then their car is going to despawn. So maybe let's do that. I'm actually also going to change this into a one way street with trees, of course. Right here, we want to swap that up. Everything here in the hub is going to be a roundabout principle. Yeah, that looks about right. So now trains, trains, trains. Let me see. We can have a cargo hub. No, a train station hub right here. Now, what makes more sense? Uh, probably this one here. And we could even have two if we wanted. I'm actually tempted to swap this up a little bit so I can make something symmetrical with it. For instance, we could hook this up like so. And then it is going to be symmetrical. Good. Hub number one goes right here. Hub number two two goes no this is actually all one big hop what we still need to add possibly is a pathway so people actually walk from one station to the next or we could make this smaller yeah i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna make it smaller and there we go everything is a little bit smaller right here we can take away the traffic lights for sure and what else do we need we are going to make something decorative inside or maybe even something iconic who knows but this is going to be a nice train hop i just hope i can actually get out of here <laughs> i'm even gonna make a nice pathway up here we want to go up within two tiles is this too steep uh, 
it's a little bit steep, but it's going to look weird otherwise as well. So I'm just going to try to do that like so and then hook these up. Nice. Okay, so now we could even lead a pathway beneath it if we want to. We have all the possibilities. So I'm going to have all of my arrivals right here and then they either go into this hop or this hop and they still have two lanes here. So that should be good actually. Okay, let's think about this. We have four lines. I'm actually going to disconnect this thinking about it. Yeah, we want the lines to arrive at separate destinations. So all of this will have to get deleted, unfortunately. Took me a while to design, but we need all four outside train lines separate. Oh no, now I deleted something I didn't mean. Oh no, I deleted a road I didn't mean to. Okay, I hope I fixed everything. Looking good, looking good. We have our four train lines separate. That means we can now start to hook them up. The first one is coming in from the top right here. Now, instead of going beneath this highway, we are actually gonna bring it over to the hub. So this is starting right here. And I think I'm just gonna take a curve. And then as of this point, we want to go down one step. And I guess we can just continue beneath here. Should be good. And then at some point we want to come up again. Or maybe actually we come up a little bit sooner because I like to see my stuff, you know? Yeah, right here. And then we go up to this point and take a sharp U-turn. Uh, right there. Is this too sharp? Mm, no, this might actually work out. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I mean, eventually this map is gonna be freaking full of train lines. It's gonna be quite incredible. Good. The next line I want to have is this one here. We're gonna continue this. We go down here and I actually want to go down two steps with this so we can go beneath everything else. Yeah, just like that. We're gonna go straight, straight, straight up to this point, I guess, and then take a little curve. Yeah, it's not perfect. I wonder if I could use the move it mod to get this a little... Uh, come on. Uh, I can grab stuff. Okay, I can make this perfect, guys. Oh, this is both good and bad at the same time. This one is naturally gonna go all the way into here and this is gonna be, I don't know, maybe I need road anarchy to make this a little bit more precise, but I think we can get good results just by eyeballing it slightly and adjusting it. How about that? That is not too shabby. So now we've already done two train lines and this is only for the passenger hub. We of course also need to do the same thing for the cargo hub. The next one is gonna be the one from the east. We wanna go down here and actually go down even more. Can we do that? Yeah, right there. And then we join up with this line. Let me see. We probably, yeah, we want to go kind of around this. So I'm going to go up once more. We go to this point and then go down once more so I can go beneath that. Hold the phone. That's not good. Ugh. So horrible to build underground, but there we go. We now make our way around here and right there we can uh, continue. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Page up to here. Now we're going to adjust this later on and we already have our third line. So let me just quickly finish this for the rest of it. and I'm going to be right back. All right, there we go. It's not quite perfect yet, but I think, you know, we can get this started like that and then we can do some more detail work, but I'm not happy with the corners here yet. I might need a couple more mods in order to do a really good job. However, this is our passenger hub done. Let's go ahead and do the cargo hub as well. Here we need to do a couple of different things. I also don't think we have uh, cargo stations like that. So we will have to set up multiple cargo train terminals. We're going to start with our normal road. And I think I just expanded this like two more. Yeah, this looks even. And then we can go to the one way street. And right here, I did something like that. Delete that. And let me see, I made this a little bit smaller. However, right here, it doesn't need to be small because they are actually cars and not just passengers. Like right here, the cars are just, you know, to go around to leave the city but there are gonna be tons of people walking around. However, on this side, there are just trucks and everything. Uh, maybe, no, there are not gonna be any people walking around or at least there shouldn't be. And I just saw I made this in the wrong direction. So are we gonna do two or three? I think I'm gonna do three just so that I can also expand should it be necessary. Now, this is a little bit wonky. 
We're also going to do our little one-way streets and we're going to do the same thing. But this time I'm going to leave it like that because I want to add two cargo stations at each corner and potentially more in the future. I suspect we're actually going to need more. Just like that. Okay, cargo, cargo here. Cargo terrain terminal. I want one here and one... Oh, that might actually be a problem. Except, well, this could be the end station, right? So they could go into opposite directions. Yeah, let me see. We can attach it like so and like so. That should give us enough space even to, you know, do something crazy. So I think that's fine. And one here and one there. Beautiful. Okay, that means we now have to bring our four outside connection rails somehow into this hub. So I kind of feel like we don't have enough stations. I could set up a station, let me think. We could set up a station that takes two of the lanes and then another station that takes the other two lanes. No, I fear we have to do this a little bit differently. Let's go out here, go like that. Uh, let me see, maybe we just join up with this junction. This could be a mega junction, which might be a mistake. Uh, no, if we time it correctly with the traffic lights and everything, we should be fine. So I went out from here to there to there. And this is definitely enough to set up our incoming cargo lanes. Just, uh, yeah, probably just like that. Uh, let me actually see. Oh man, this is going to be actually expensive to maintain, isn't it? It's going to cost me a lot of money. Yeah, but I'm happy with this. So these are our incoming lanes, the trains. So there are going to be a lot of cars going out here. Actually, I should make sure that I switch this around. And these guys need to be connected to the outside connection. That should be easy enough. If we have a look down here, we can take one lane from there. And then we will have to improvise a little bit. Also, we need to make sure that we can come from both directions. That means we need to go down as such, for instance, but also add a connection like that somehow. Uh, I think that actually worked out. Okay, brilliant. So now we only need, uh, for instance, this lane as well. Let me quickly arrange that. Okay, I think I did it. I'm, I'm not proud of it, but building underground is extremely agonizing, I have to say. Anyways, we can come from here and go up to the station. We can come from the bottom or the bottom right here. I'm just hoping that these rails are actually connected in some way or the other. But this looks plausible to me. So we have two lines hooked up to this station. I'm also gonna hook up the two other lines to this station and then I'm gonna be right back. All right, guys, I think I have everything hooked up. This is a little bit chaotic, but this is only going to be for the incoming lanes. Everything else we can have uh, more or less under control. Now here, this is supposed to not connect and I'm not sure if this is entirely true. And I'm also not sure if all of the lanes actually did connect here. So I wonder, maybe I have to sometimes make more extreme curves so that the rails actually connect. So I'm not entirely sure how you can actually see that. Okay, so now we basically built the hub. This was my goal for this episode. In order to test this, if it, you know, even works, we might want to save the game. After that, we might want to set up a district somewhere. Let me see. Now, this district can be with the minimal amount of roads. So let's say, for instance, this lane right here. I'm not going to save what I'm doing right now, but this lane right here is going to my first district. So we just bring this train all the way over here or this track and then this track could go to the industry area. Though I don't think anyone needs to go to the industry right away. They first go home and then they take on their travel from there. So that would mean we have a little district here. Now let me just go ahead and do something very, very quick. Just a basic grid layout, but it doesn't need to be a grid in the end. We can do this more design focused this time. Now to be honest with you, we don't really need these guys for the time being. We only need the two routes that take in the cargo and then they are all going to bring their cargo to this station, which is then going to go into the new district. So I guess I will have to line up with this guy. We're going to do this a little bit more structured in the future, but for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and do this in any way, shape or form possible. We go beneath here and then move all the way over there. And then I guess at some point we want to come back up to the surface and join up with this line. 
Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so train station, we need one. Let's make our nice roundabout right here. We're gonna have our train station here, just a single one. Let me see, we probably want to have it right there. This one here can hook up with this guy and then we need to also make a industrial slash commercial district. Now I'm doing this only in order to test things out. I want to know whether or not things are actually working out here. So we also need the cargo terminal. I'm gonna make a roundabout. Well, it's not technically a roundabout, but it's the principle of a roundabout. And we also add that station here and then connect this up. This is just the test, something like that. Yeah, okay, good. So this is the principle. People would actually go to that train station, then move to the hub, take the correct train to actually go to the industrial area, etc. So I guess contrary to the residential district, we also need a passenger station here, to be honest with you. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna add another one of these guys here. Passenger, um, add you there. Oh, this is chaotic. I'm gonna do this way smarter. Once again, this is just to see what's going on. So even though these two areas are close together, they don't necessarily have to do anything with each other. People are going to the hub and they take whatever they need. So technically I could go ahead and take this hub right now that goes into the industrial slash commercial area. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna just take over this lane. Let's just go ahead and move up, move over, and move down. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. This is quite a horrible track, but yeah, you have to excuse me. Now, at least we can see whether or not this is actually working out. So let's uh, unpause the game. I did save it before, once we did finish the hops and everything, so that's still gonna be there. Now, I just want to see what is actually happening. Let's also reset the traffic so we know what's going on. Okay, all right, we have our first cargo train incoming from the outside. They only had one truck, but we can still see what he's doing. He's going to... what? Yeah, he's going all the way around to this hub, of course. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. And then he is generating... Oh, wait, 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 where are you going? He did not spawn a cargo train. Maybe now we're gonna generate our first cargo for the industry, I'm not sure. Come on, come on, come on. No, they just get out again and then they want to go back to the exit cargo. Hmm. Still no train generated and we haven't had any passengers here going to their actual houses. Another problem could actually be the garbage though. No, it looks as though they are disposing the garbage unit. So that's good. They finally don't go... Oh, actually, they move to the other area. But that's just the hub area, so that's fine. Collecting some garbage here at the hub. But we will have to have all the services for each individual separated district. I wonder if nobody lives here. Yes, yeah, zero, zero. There are two households. How did you get here? Like, uh, how did you get here, man? Okay, I have to say, I'm a little tiny bit disappointed right now. I'm not sure what's going wrong. But people are not actually coming here. Well, they are definitely building the houses and sometimes it even says, I mean, there's the garbage collection, but otherwise no traffic and as far as I can tell, also no people. This is basically a dead city. <laughs> now, what could have gone wrong? I mean, they are able to go to this hub, right, where they have all the possibilities. So the passengers, like the people should be coming in here either by train or by the car, but they don't. So maybe let me try something else, just temporarily. We're gonna disconnect everything. So now it's only accessed by train. That's the only possibility to get into the city now. Okay guys, so I observed this for a little while and I discovered that maybe the trains aren't actually the most important or the most efficient thing of them all. At least they don't really want to go into the central hub, even though it's kind of set up perfectly. I even added one of these stations just to see whether or not they complain about this type of station. So this is kind of an issue. What I would like to do maybe instead is go with the monorail station. As we can see, they already use this much more eagerly and actually this is going quite quickly between the different districts. So maybe that is actually an idea. Instead of the trains, we're gonna use the monorails to let 
the people travel between the districts and we actually can use parking lots. This is one I downloaded from the workshop. And I've actually seen people, yeah, you can see them go over there and they actually take a car and use it to go wherever they need to. But the traffic overall is, of course, at a minimum because once they are at their location, they just despawn. There's no traffic nearby. So I still need to figure out a way to actually include the trains. I definitely want some kind of a hub such as this. But I think what we have to do instead is we have to have a major highway and then we are going to need routes such as this. So this is just a one way into the district and after that it's done. So everything that gets imported can still be imported through a road but also through the cargo trains. You can see they are actually quite busy. There are a lot of cargo trains coming in and it's uh, definitely worth it. They are also being uh, generated here and then they go off and actually bring the materials to the hop. So the cargo hop is definitely worth it in my opinion. But I don't know how to get this hub really working though. Right now they're actually utilizing it like I anticipated. They are using the parking lots and then they hopefully also use the station. Well, maybe since the crime rate is high, they actually don't do that. So just to see, I'm gonna place a police right there. They are already using this station, so they are parking here, but the parking is quite limited. That's why I had to add more parking spots. But it looks as though they are actually utilizing this route a little bit. How many people do we have now? 26 on this line. So it does kind of work and I assume all we needed is kind of a trigger. Ever since I built these roads so a bunch of cars could actually move in, things are looking much better. Also the households are finally filling up. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a highway. Well, we already have the highway but every now and then we're gonna add a district and we can add it as we please, we can make it look nice and beautiful. And then we're going to connect everything using the mass transit as much as possible. And with that, I believe we can at least get double, if not more, people than we have previously. So we should get closer to 1 million. Good. With that out of the way, I'm actually going to wrap it up. I'm going to go back to my previous save game where we still had some money. And then I'm probably going to rearrange a couple of things with the new strategy in mind. So we probably cannot do this unless one of you has a better idea. With that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.